Gun Media's modern take on the iconic horror series Friday the 13th is a fun and fresh romp through the horror classic. It stays true to form all the way through and nails every single horror trope. It's unfortunate though that the game suffers from some pretty nasty bugs and has had an incredibly rough launch. Despite this, it shines. I mean, this is the kind of love letter that even the most jaded of fans have been dying for. The level of detail that's gone into recreating the atmosphere and environments from the original series is incredible, and it's clear that the four-person team behind the game really loves the genre. It's this kind of passion that really gets me excited about gaming, and to see two of my favorite things intersect so beautifully gets me in a way that not many other things can. Now let's get down to business. The gameplay. It's a typical 1v4, or in this case up to 8 setup, similar to that of Versus Mode from Left 4 Dead or Dead by Daylight. Players are either cast the role of Jason, or a very unfortunate counselor who, let's be honest, probably shouldn't have been drinking and banging each other in the Coleman. The objective of Jason is straightforward. Kill everyone. This is a task that even myself, the master of non-violence, can really get behind. Your options range from eye gouging to head squishing, and I mean, who doesn't want to squish the head of that preppy douchebag whose dad's a cop and only shops at L.L. Bean? To help Jason do this, he's equipped with four special abilities. Morph, which allows Jason to warp to any point on the map. Shift, which allows him to move a short distance at top speed. Sense, an ability that shows Jason the position of nearby counselors. And Stock, which allows Jason to use his abilities without notifying anyone. In addition to these abilities, there's also Rage, which when built up, allows Jason to be ultra badass and just Hulk smash his way through walls and doors. Now the objectives of the counselors is also fairly straightforward stay alive and escape the camp. However, how this is done is a little bit more involved. As a counselor, players will spend most of their time rummaging through drawers, cupboards and desks looking for parts to repair a car or the boat or finding a fuse to repair the phone so you can call the cops. Everything is randomly generated each round so you'll never know exactly where to find things so this is where teamwork starts to come in real handy. Is anyone there? This is not a prank! We need your help! Jason is killing us! We need your help! Jason's alive! Please help us! Counselors will only be able to communicate with each other if they're in close enough proximity, or via the walkie-talkie if it's been found. For example, someone may have found the battery and the gas for the car, but someone on the other side of the map has the keys. So bringing these two players together requires a bit of work. It's also important to note that if Jason is close enough to the counselors, he can also hear them talking and possibly planning their escape, so it's usually a bad idea to tell everyone to meet you at the boat, as you can probably assume that Jason will be there waiting for you, machete in hand. I love seeing this kind of mechanic happen in games, especially when it works as well as it does in this instance, and especially when players start getting creative with it. I've seen many players try to reason with Jason, and offer up locations of other players with the hopes of being spared. And trust me, being on the receiving end of a spear while hiding in a closet, all because a desperate counselor traded up this information in exchange for their own lives, is absolutely brutal. Yet at the same time, it's a moment of gaming brilliance. Ultimately, this all results in the game becoming one of the most fun and stressful games of hide and seek you'll ever play. The feeling I got the first time I ever escaped Jason in the car was one of the most thrilling things I've ever experienced. Now let's talk about the audio and visuals. Holy shit! The audio design in this game is spectacular, complete with the ch 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 and the ah, ah, which actually cue the player that Jason is getting stronger. The audio has been completely obsessed over and is so perfectly accurate. There are times when it literally sounds like you're watching the original movie. The excellent sound design extends beyond the soundtrack though and often used to create some really great moments of tension. You'll be sneaking through the woods and you'll hear a branch snap in the distance, which is just enough of a scare to send you running, which you should never do. The game visuals are just as beautiful as the audio, and they've captured the feeling of the original series perfectly. It feels like you're walking around Camp Crystal like. The only exception is the character models. Oh man, they're bad. I mean, they're really bad. The Jason models look great. You can really tell that the team nerded out in making these look as accurate as they could, but the counselors all look not quite right. 
Their eyes are buggy, their expressions are bizarre, and in general, they just look otherworldly. Overall, it feels rough, which, despite all the great things I said above, is how the game feels overall. It feels rushed and it feels sloppy, which brings me to the giant elephant in the room, the bugs. There are bugs, and there are lots of them. We've got clipping, we've got collisions, we've got texture pop-ins, we've got random menu freezings, and worst of all, it's almost impossible to get into a lobby. Every session I've played has been at least four hours due to the sheer horror of having to wait upwards of 10 minutes just to find a new lobby to join if I decide I want to quit for a few minutes. They've also had a terrible amount of database crashes, and some people haven't even been able to play the game since buying it. Awful. Now, the good news is that the team is working incredibly hard to fix their matchmaking and server issues. I have to constantly remind myself that it's only four guys. However, as these issues persist into day five after launch, the patience is beginning to grow thin for some. It's really unfortunate that the launch has been so rough and that the game is riddled with bugs, because behind all this crap, there is a massive gem. Even in its current state, the game is so much fun to play, and it's really positioned to be the definitive Friday the 13th game. If you're thinking about picking this up now, I would absolutely wait. At the end of the day, this game is just not ready. It feels like an early access game, but if you're like me and can see this game for what it is and how it's come together, then pick it up. Support these guys because honestly, killing your friends has never been this much fun. That's my good boy. Mommy has a reward for you. Come home, sweetie. Ha 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 ha.